Good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the Truck Rudy Show here this fine morning. How are you guys all doing this fine morning? Are you guys having a fantastic day as of yet? Well, I'm getting ready to have some breakfast here with the wife. Kids are off to school, so let's take a look. What are we, uh, what are we cooking today? <clears throat> we got some good breakfast there, sweetie. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, just the usual. Just the usual? Yes. Good coffee and some good eggs. We're all good to go, right? I think so anyways. Crazy windy out there today, but hey, we're inside today. I'm rendering a few videos, uploading them, and I gotta schedule them all for the weekend and whatever, so we'll see exactly what's gonna happen this weekend. I haven't quite figured everything out yet, but hopefully later today we'll know. So let's go ahead and have breakfast and uh, see what kind of day we'll have today, right? Welcome to uh, our show. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Well guys, I am going to show you guys something that uh, you guys have probably never seen before. Yeah, look at this over here. What's the wife up to? Huh? Drawing circles. <laughs> Drawing circles? Exactly what is that? Brad. <laughs> look at that, this is how it's done, guys. This is the dough. Yeah, look at that, guys. That's the dough. The wife makes it all by hand. And then uh, she rolls bowls like that. And then she bakes the bread herself. So good job, right? <laughs> I think so. And I tell you what, here in a little bit, there is nothing better than smelling that fresh baked bread right out of the oven and grabbing me a hot bun and eating it like that. Oh, that's the best thing you can ever taste. I guarantee you that. But anyways, I gotta run a few errands. We'll be right back. Well, guess what? I just got invited to go for lunch. You wanna guess who it is? You wanna tell everybody who you are? <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going, buddy? Oh, very good, very good. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, we're having a little bit of a lunch here. Mmm. Just fantastic. We're gonna have uh, some uh, good steak, but I figure you were in town anyway, so I figure why not go for lunch then right away? Yeah, exactly. Why not, right? Yeah. We were actually gonna go camping with this guy. I know I haven't told you guys, but everything fell apart because uh, we can't leave our daughter in Winnipeg right now. She, uh, she'd be okay to stay there, but they, they have an outbreak of uh, flu over there, so we don't really want to get her sick. So. Fortunately, we're gonna to have to hang out with him just for well, lunch. <laughs> yeah, I, but the thing is, I'll go do some fishing for you. All right, you wanna send I, us some videos? And oh, definitely, yeah. and I will think on you when I fish. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then I'll say, okay, this one is for Rudy. Yeah, and, you're gonna, <laughs> and you're gonna make sure you drink one for me, right? Oh, definitely, but I'll send you a video. I'm, we are doing a pig roast today, or uh, Tomorrow, on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, on Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So yeah. I'll do the pig roast, and then I'll send you some videos from the pig roast, so what oh. you are missing out on. Listen to this guy. <laughs> oh man, I know I'm going to miss it, but what can I do, right? Anyways, we're going to hang out for a little bit, talk and chitter and chat. Well guys, it is time to have some lunch. Let's take a look at what we're having. Look at this. I got me a Hawaiian burger. Looks like that's going to be an awesome one. Well, Let's it, check this it is out. better. <laughs> that's look better. That. Yeah, this, look at that. This is a nice steak. Oh you know? man, he's yeah. got some nice veggies and oh. everything. Oh, it smells okay. good. Oh, it just smells good. Oh. I have to dig in. This oh, is yeah, good. Th that, that's have, <laughs> that's have lunch. Well, I made it back to the house, guys. Let's have a look at all these nice fresh buns right here on the table. I just tell you, I wish you could smell this. That is an amazing smell. I tell you, the wife makes real good bread. Oh, yeah. I'm very proud of it. Anyways. I gotta work on uh, Jukebox's computer here a little bit, see if I can figure everything out. So let's see what happens. Well, here we go, guys. Uh, quite a bit of time has gone by now. Uh, me and Walter, we had some good lunch. And uh, now the kids have gotten home from school, eh, Jesse? What do you wanna sell, uh, tell everybody? You wanna say hi? Have you said hi yet today? I don't think you did, eh? That boy over there, he's really hungry. Look at him digging. Look at them. Oh, oh yeah. Mom made good supper, eh? Well, this right? is his favorite meat. This is his favorite meat? Yes. Oh, awesome. Let's take a look on what we're having. 
I don't think I've actually shown you guys. Let me turn it around this way here. There we go. Now you can really see that. And this one? Oh, what is that? Mmm. Oh, man. Ice Look at cream. that. Ice cream, eh? Oh, my goodness. So we're going to have us a good supper. I'm telling you guys. It looks like our day is about to come to a screeching halt. Yeah, we're almost time to go to bed. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Just need a shower. <laughs> I know, we need to get a shower done and then we are ready for bed. Yeah, we did a little bit of research here today about uh, getting drone license here for Canada. And uh, so yeah, we watched a bunch of YouTube videos on that to see what we could all figure out about the information that we need and uh, what we need to study and uh, what's important, what's not, right? And there's usually anything with government that's involved with government, they got some BS in it, right? So Just involved with money. Yeah. Money grab. Yeah, it's a money grab. You got to pay $10 for each time you write the test. So if you fail it, you got to pay another 10 bucks. Then you got to pay another 5 bucks to register your drone yet. So yeah, fun, fun, fun. But I got to do it uh, by June 1st. I can no longer fly in Canada if I don't have a license. So we're going to have to uh, try and figure out how we can do it. But anyways, that's pretty much all for today. We had a pretty busy day running around. Got invited with Walter, as you guys saw. I had a lunch with him and we went editing videos. And uh, I actually got Jukebox's computer over here been working on that went and got a uh, solid stage drive ssd drive a uh, kingston uh, one terabyte hard drive and uh, for those of you guys that are curious to see if it is worth upgrading from a regular traditional hard drive like a disc hard drive it is definitely worth it if you want to see the difference on the video i can definitely share that with you guys just to give you guys an idea on how much of a difference it really is, difference it is, it was a matter of taking four minutes to reboot the computer to when we installed the uh, SSD, I cloned everything over to there so that way this uh, the serial code for Windows and everything stays the same, so nothing would change, right? So when I did a reboot after installing all of that, it was a matter of the difference from four minutes down to 32 seconds of reboot time from the time I hit the restart button till everything was loaded back up to where I could hit the start button and the page would actually come up, right? Like the computer on the, SS, uh, on the regular drive actually started up a little bit quicker. The screen came on like the home screen, but you couldn't actually click on the start button yet, right? So the page wouldn't come up yet. So that, in order for that to take place, it took literally four minutes. So that's a massive, massive difference. And I was telling Jukebox that that's uh, probably the biggest difference that you can make when you change the hard drive, right? So and that's what we did. And we're going to do some more stuff to it. We want to change the keyboard yet. His mouse trackpad is not working right. We want to change that yet. He's asking to change the battery too, so we'll see but uh, yeah so we're going to upgrade the ram probably yet we'll probably put in a little bit more ram and i uh, cleaned it up real good already for him so yes yeah, she's looking pretty good now i think he's going to be back in business making some good videos here very soon eh but uh, anyhow we gotta go to bed go take a shower go to bed and uh yeah we uh we were going to go camping this weekend as i mentioned earlier yeah. and all of that fell through so we, uh, we are not able to bring our daughter to Winnipeg. They're not even allowing anybody to come in or out. Unless you have a scheduled flight somewhere that you cannot cancel. That's the only exception they may take. But other than that, no, they don't advise you to bring anyone. Yeah, so... Uh that kind of screwed us up we were really yeah. looking forward to going camping this weekend but yeah better that she's safe than getting sick yep that's, so that's much more worth it so i decided to uh, tell penners i'll be available to go out on saturday again so that's what we're gonna do 
So thank you very much for watching our vlog today. Hopefully it was worth watching it. And we'll see what we can come up with tomorrow. I know we're still going to be home tomorrow. I told him Saturday, right? So tomorrow is Friday. So hopefully we can show you some goodies tomorrow. We might go to Winnipeg. That's what we were talking about earlier. Maybe we'll go take some pictures and uh, thinking about getting some more RAM for uh, Jukebox's computer. I'll probably be putting an extra stick of RAM into my computer as well. I know mine will probably not make as much of a difference as his because I already got 24 gigs. And if I put another 8 uh, gigs in there, bring it up to 32. But he only has one slot, right? So we can only put another 8, uh, we can only put one stick in there and it's going to be an 8 gigabyte one and uh we have to first see if they actually have it in stock they don't have it here in steinbach but we'll see if they have it in winnipeg so and then we'll probably go see what kind of photos we can take hopefully it's going to be a good day tomorrow nice and sunny nice and warm it's supposed to be cold in the morning minus yeah. four well we'll see anyways we're out of here we'll see you guys tomorrow thank you very much for watching